Savage Run by Itel, 1986. Spontaneous symbol acquisition and communicative use by pygmy chimpanzees. The aim of Savage Rumbell's study was to compare the language acquisition and usage of two pygmy chimpanzees, or bonobos, with two common chimpanzees. The research method was a longitudinal case study which took place over a 17 month period at the Language Research Centre at Georgia University. The subjects in the study were two pygmy chimpanzees, Kanzi, a male bonobo aged between 30 and 47 months, and his younger sister Malika, who was aged between 11 and 21 months. Two common chimpanzees were included in the study as a comparison, Sherman and Austin. They had both been part of an earlier language training program. A visual symbol system was used for communication. This consisted of geometric symbols called lexigrams. In indoor environments, the lexigrams were presented on a computer screen, which illuminated when touched, and synthesised speech. When the chimpanzees were outdoors, the lexigrams were presented using a pointing board. Unlike Sherman and Austin, Kanzi and Malika were not formally trained to use the lexigrams. Their trainers used lexigrams in their communications, and accompanied their actions with verbal emphasis. Kanzi showed an interest in human speech and lexigrams from around the age of six months, for example, pressing a symbol and running for the food machine. He had not learned associations between symbols and specific foods, and used the symbols very generally. Food was placed in 17 locations in the forest, each named depending on the name of the food placed there. Kanzi was showing photos of the different kinds of foods and was asked to point to the food he wanted, and he was then taken to that site. Kanzi was soon able to take other people to a site he had selected from a photo. When the chimpanzees used the computer indoors, the lexigrams were automatically recorded. When the chimpanzees were outside using the pointing boards, the lexigrams were recorded by hand and later entered into a computer. Each of the chimpanzees' utterances were coded firstly as being correct or incorrect, and secondly as being spontaneous, imitated or structured. There were clear criteria to define the acquisition of vocabulary. Utterances had to be spontaneous and the behavioural verification meant that utterances had to be verified in 9 out of 10 occurrences. The validity of observations was checked by videotaping four and a half hours of behaviour and comparing the coding of the video footage to the coding carried out in real time. Productive and receptive capacities were tested using two methods. Firstly, the chimpanzees were shown pictures and had to select the correct lexigrams. Secondly, they listened to a spoken word and had to select either the correct picture or lexigram. The results showed several differences between the common chimpanzees and the bonobos. Kanzi and Malika used untutored gestures which were more explicit than those used by Sherman and Austin. Kanzi and Malika appeared to learn the symbols in the same way that children learn language, using the symbols in an associative context first. Similarly, Kanzi and Malika were more likely to imitate when they were learning new words. Kanzi was able to use combinations of symbols from an early age, but he produced fewer combinations than single symbol utterances. Kanzi and Malika were able to comprehend spoken English, whereas Sherman and Austin could not. Kanzi and Malika could also be more specific in their use of the lexigrams, such as being able to differentiate between coke and juice. Sherman and Austin used broad categories such as food. Kanzi was also able to request another person to do something, which shows the beginnings of syntax use.